Welcome to Medical World, where we rock, think, and dream in medicine. Today's video is about symptoms of brucellosis. I'm clinician Birun Draven, and we can go. So, the clinical symptoms of brucellosis normally follow a undulating pattern. So, this is referring to that the symptoms. A specific symptom occurs at a given time and it may disappear before another symptom can occur so they don't usually occur all of them at the same point note when we are actually looking at these symptoms we are going to see in this video you must consider the patient's history in order to make sense out of them so history taking is a very vital part of the diagnosis process the clinical features, rather features, are usually related to brucellosis if the person has a history of contact with animals, recent travel to endemic areas, recent history of a family member presenting with the same pattern of illness, or the individual recently took and pasteurized animal products. So, in our in a typical standard brucellosis condition, we shall expect to see febrile illness. So, since we know that it happens in an indulating pattern, they don't all occur at the same time. So, you may find the person will present with febrile illness. After some time, it will go and the person will present with a fever. After some time, it may go and the person will present with acute monoarthritis. I think we are aware of what acute monoarthritis means. So with acute monoarthritis is where you find one of the joints has become inflammated, has become inflamed, it has swollen, but the other opposite joint is normal and good to go. Okay, the general symptoms you will expect in it, a brucellosis infection. One, fever, a temperature above 38.5 degrees Celsius. Two, sweats. These will be particularly night sweats. The patient will be complaining of fatigue. The patient will complain of non specific malaysias. Malaysia, sorry. The patient will complain of non specific malaysia. So, what is non specific malaysia? This is where you find the first of all, malaysia is muscle pain. So, if it's non specific myelagia, you find the patient is feeling muscle pain, but he or she is not particularly or cannot particularly pinpoint out which muscle is being affected. So, they are feeling muscle pain, but they cannot actually pinpoint out the exact one. Ochitis will occur here. Ochitis is specifically swelling or rather inflammation of the tests. This is because the bacteria that causes brucellosis, brucella, usually tends to take refuge in the genitals. Then we shall also expect metastatic abscess or rather inflammation, meta metastatic inflammations. In female, they, they are commonly seen in under the skin of the breasts, but they can actually occur at any point of the body. So they can eat any point. Some other point where we can usually see them is actually at the back along the vertebral column endocarditis so here the walls the muscles of the heart will become inflamed they will they, they, they will become inflamed so it is a very severe state and it's very lethal there will be loss of appetite because this is just a common symptom, most especially in all diseases that present with a fever. Because of loss of appetite, that is poor nutrition, therefore it is going to also result into loss of weight. Thank you for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Also click the notification button so that we can always keep you notified whenever we post a new beautiful, wonderful, good and interesting educative video like this one you have just watched. This is Medical World. Let's meet in the next video.